Welcome to the World Computer Tech Talks. I'm Raymond from the engineering team at the Definity Foundation. Today, I'm going to tell you about the capability of the internet computer that sets it apart from other blockchains. That's the ability to serve frontends directly out of a smart contract. Most decentralized apps today have their smart contracts running on-chain, but their frontends are still hosted on traditional cloud services. This creates security risks and defeats the entire purpose of decentralization. ICP, on the other hand, allows you to extend the smart contract guarantees to the front end, removing a major pain point of centralization and reducing the risk of attack. In this video, I'll give you an overview of how ICP is able to serve front ends. The internet computer runs smart contracts called canisters. They are stateful programs that can maintain persistent memory. Canisters typically have functions or methods that allow them to process and respond to messages they receive from the outside world. This could be another canister running on the ICP network or an external client. External clients calling into the IC make API requests that consist of an envelope containing, among other things, the target canister ID, the method name, and the binary blob with the arguments to pass into it. In order to serve HTTP, a canister simply implements the HTTP canister interface. Essentially, it implements a method that takes an HTTP request object as an argument and returns an HTTP response object. These objects include the same properties you would expect from a standard HTTP request response object, like the status code, headers, a body, etc. Of course, at this point, the responses are still IC API responses, and you need them to be translated into a standard format that the browser can understand. But you might wonder, how does my browser talk to a blockchain? Well, that's the role of an HTTP gateway. Its job is to translate standard HTTP requests, the kind that your browser would make, into IC API calls and back. This allows a browser to load assets like HTML, style sheets, or JavaScript from a canister to serve frontends. Gateways can be implemented in different ways. It could be a remote server. For example, the Definity Foundation runs ic0.app and icp0.io and some community projects run their own gateways. The gateway can also be implemented as a standalone local proxy or be built natively into the browser. But isn't serving web from the blockchain slow? Well, the internet computer has a few tricks that make it fast and secure. First, query calls can be used for HTTP requests. These are fast read-only operations that don't go through consensus, making them feel instant to the user. Second, to make sure that the responses from the canisters can be trusted, the internet computer uses certified data. This means that an asset served from, the, from a canister can be cryptographically tied to a Merkle tree, and the response includes a proof that the data is authentic and hasn't been tampered with. Gateways will verify these proofs to guarantee integrity. Because serving static assets is a very common use case, the foundation maintains the asset canister a pre-built canister that knows how to store certified web assets and respond to HTTP requests efficiently. You can upload assets into it using the SDK, and it handles everything, including streaming large files and serving certified responses. ICP allows your entire app to live and be served from the blockchain. This isn't theoretical. Right now, OpenChat serves a full messaging app to more than 100,000 users, and thousands of other dApps are also running fully on-chain. If you want to build your own dApps, you can try ICP Ninja, which is a web IDE that lets you code and deploy smart contracts directly in your browser. Of course, you can also download the SDK and check out some of the projects in the examples repository. Join us in our journey towards the world computer.